And so this began a process that we're still continuing to work on today, but it's something that we refer to as the Tesla operating system. And the results of this have been quite staggering, to be frank. I think it's exceeded our expectations as well. Zach Kerkorn presented Tesla's new operating system at Investor Day. He went over how this piece of software is making Tesla into the most efficient company in the world. Unfortunately, I don't think many people have picked up on this. Today, I want to explain what Tesla operating system is and how it's transforming Tesla into the best run company in the world. In case you're new to the channel, my name is Alejandro and I build financial software for viciousstocks.com, which I believe is the best stock research tool in the market today. All right, so what is Tesla's operating system? Well, in order to run a big company, especially in manufacturing, there is a set of software suites that are necessary. They help companies do HR, payroll, bookkeeping, warehousing, factory services, customer service, and many, many more. Zach explains Tesla's operating system as an in-house software that they've developed that helps Tesla with all these activities. But there's a big problem. This shouldn't even be possible at all. The theory behind this is like, yeah, it would be insanely good if we could build our own in-house solution that could do all those things for us and save all that money. But there are multi-billion dollar companies whose only purpose is to build each part of that puzzle. I used to work for the company that provided HR solutions for Tesla and SpaceX in the past. So it seems insane to me that Tesla could build all of that in-house. Plus warehousing, plus bookkeeping, plus factory. Like no other company would even dare attempt something like that. To give you some idea of how much money this would save, we'll go over some numbers real quick. We used to charge Tesla $23 per month per employee for HR, recruiting, payroll, all of those things. For finance, a comparable would probably be Oracle ERP, which is about $175 per month per user. And for warehousing, there's software that costs you about 3 k per month for every five users. You get the point. All of these vendors charge per employee or per user at some point. Meaning that as Tesla grows as a company, the costs associated with running said company will grow linearly as well. And these costs could actually go up to hundreds of millions of dollars. But if you look at Tesla's operating expenses and visual stocks real quick, we can see how their management costs have been relatively stable since Q3 2020. If we compare it to how fast the revenue has grown, then the difference is really shocking. But why does this matter? Why do we even care? Well, in finance, there's this concept called operating leverage, which in my opinion is the most important metric that we can use to analyze a stock or a company. If sales of a business grow faster than the business expenses, then this business profitability improves. That's called high operating leverage. As you can see for Tesla's operating leverage, it's through the roof. And that's why net income exploded in 2020 and Tesla stock followed after doing a 20x in 18 months. A bunch of people got rich, obviously, but I always wonder how could Tesla keep such high operating leverage all these years? And Zach has finally given us the answer to our question, which is Tesla's operating system, which by the way, they're still improving upon. But I still don't understand how Zach Kirkhorn has been able to pull this off. As I said before, this shouldn't even be possible. And I've never seen any CFO or any CEO or any executive been able to do this before. And it's not like they haven't tried. So yeah, let's build everything in house and save money. It's way easier said than done. Nobody would do something like this. Not even companies whose whole specialty is software, such as Microsoft or Google. They don't do their own HR software. Now we went over how SAC has been able to keep Tesla lean with their in-house software, but we haven't gone over how fast they're planning to cut their production costs. And they actually gave us the answer to that question as well. They plan to introduce a new assembly line that will cut the cost of goods sold, so not the operating part, but the production part by 50%. And that will probably transform Tesla into a multi-trillion dollar company. But nobody has actually gone and done that math. Fortunately, I covered that in this video right here. So if you thought this video was interesting, you're probably gonna find that one even better. Because operating costs are important, but the cost of production is perhaps even more important than that. So anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.